Happy 84th birthday, Bert Harkins, 84. And we appreciate you. You're a true and living legend. You're rising high above the rest of us. And we wish you all the best. Bert start racing speedway in the early 60s for Scotland, racing against Team England. Bert was a true Scot. He raced for the Scottish team, the Monarchs, from 1963 to 1969. 1968, Burt won the Victorian Individual Championship in Australia. 1970, Burt signed with the Wembley Lions for two seasons after Old Funden retired from the sport of Speedway. 1972, Burt joined the cast of stars of Ivan Major and Brigo, and they came to the United States, and they raced at the Costa Mesa Fairgrounds, United States versus the world. Of course, the world dominated the United States, as Burt was riding with Brigo and Ivan Major and a cast of the European stars, they just dominated the Yanks. Team America was led by Michael Bass. They had a bunch of young riders. Ivan Major taught these guys how to ride Speedway. Michael Bass working on his bike with his brother Steve here. They're just a bunch of young guns. Here's Rick Woods. They just could not compete with Sonny Nutter. They couldn't compete with the European stars. It's simple. The U.S. versus the world was no match. The Europeans led by Ivan, the great Major, he went ahead and dominated. Bert was a star. He went ahead and held off the Americans. They schooled the Americans. They taught the Americans how to race Speedway, how the Europeans do it. This shows you the intensity, the toughness that Bert had. I think Michael Bass, he went ahead and whispered something bad in Bert's ear. Bert just took him down. These Europeans, they didn't put up with any shit from the Yanks. They went ahead and they took them down. Bert raced for the Wimbledon Dons and the Sheffield Tigers for three seasons, and he won the London Cup in 1974. <laughs> Just a few years later, in 1976, Burt came to America again to torment Michael Bast again as he was a member of the Bakersfield Bandits of the National Speedway League. America, they started Speedway. They copied European Speedway League. They had teams. And Burt, he went ahead and joined the Bakersfield Bandits. And they eventually won the championship. Burt was a part of that championship. And he was a good rider. After Bakersfield in 76, Burt raced three more seasons in the British League till 1980. And then he retired. Burt raced amazing 20 seasons in the British League. He was a star rider. He was a good rider. And today he's a living legend. We're going to share with you some pictures of Burt racing throughout the years all the races he had. Bert was a solid rider and he was a good rider and I'm positive he made the great country of Scotland very proud of him.
Burt was in one British League final, and that was in 1971. 1970, Burt finished fifth in the world's best pairs with a very good, talented rider, Jim McMillan. After Burt's retirement from Speedway, he still stayed in the sport, selling motorcycles, parts, accessories. Burt was a famous rider. He went ahead and shared his talent and his ability and his knowledge with others. 2008, Burt was the president of the World Speedway Riders Association, taking over the reins from the late, great Ivan Major. He also had a book, My Crazy Speedway World, and I'm sure Burt's world was crazy. That was crazy good also. Burt just never got out of Speedway. He operates a Speedway museum, and in the museum, I believe they have this steel shoe, the hot shoe from the legendary Sprouts Elder. Sprouts was a champion in the early 1920s when Speedway came to the world. Sprouts Elder was there racing in Australia. He came to England. He dominated everywhere. At 84 years young, Bert is traveling all over the world. He can't keep, he can't keep a good man down. And Bert is all over with his beloved wife. They travel the world. And they're having a great life. Bert's beloved in the Speedway community. He has so many friends. And everybody really appreciates all the good things he's done for the sport. Mm -hmm.